Hi, micro students. This is Professor Schimmeld. I'd like to do an introduction to Lab 9, uh, which is a survey of some parasitic protozoans. All right, if you look in your lab manual on page 57, uh, I need you to read the introduction. And when you do that, you're going to learn that the protozoans are classified into a phylum based upon their mode of motility. So what that means is, how does that organism uh, move? Does it use uh, um, pseudopods, which are extensions of cytoplasm or flagella or cilia? Or uh, there is another possibility, and that is that the organism is non-modal, not able to move when they are at a mature state uh, in their life cycle. All right, so the four uh, phyla, which is the plural form of the word phylum, that we are going to be uh, examining in this exercise begins with phylum sarcodina. Those are affectionately known as the amoebas, and the amoebas move using uh, pseudopods, which are extensions of cytoplasm. The second phylum is called ciliata. Those organisms move using short kind of bristle-like projections called cilia, which beat back and forth and cause the organism uh, to uh, be able to move through its environment. Phylum uh, mastigophora, sorry, I just realized I didn't do these in order. Uh, phylum mastigophora, those are organisms that use flagella, long whip-like structures uh, to move through their environment. And then the fourth phylum, sporozoa. Now, these are organisms that have complex life cycles, and when they are mature, they are not capable of movement. They, typically, they're going to be um, intracellular parasites, probably inside of uh, a um, type of host cell. Uh, and um, let's go ahead and talk about the slides that you're going to be viewing in this exercise. They're listed on page 59. And you will be looking at the trophozoite stage of amoeba proteus, the trophozoite stage of entamoeba histolytica, uh, trophozoite stage of Giardia lamlia, also known as Giardia intestinalis, uh, the trophozoite of Trichomonas vaginalis, the tryptomastigote stage of Trypanosoma. Now, your slide box will either have Trypanosoma gambiens or Trypanosoma cruzi in it doesn't really matter which of those slides you have, they look pretty much the same. Uh, you'll be looking at the trophozoite stage of Euglena, which is a non-parasitic protozoan, uh, the trophozoite of Valentidium coli, trophozoite in conjugation of uh, Paramecium caudatum, the ring stage trophozoite of Plasmodium, and finally the trophozoite of Toxoplasma gondii. Now, just to remind you, you will be checking out a box of slides. So you'll check the number of the slides and their condition, and then you'll find quite a bit of information inside the lid of that box. For example, the condition of the slide, the stage of the life cycle you're viewing, and the total magnification that you're going to um, view the slide um, uh, under. So if you look at pages 60 and 61, you're going to see a description of each of the slides you'll be viewing today and some tips uh, to hopefully make it easier to actually locate these critters. So uh, take a look at those as you're viewing the slides. We've got uh, diagrams, just real simple diagrams of most of the organisms that you're going to be viewing. I think actually I've got them all. Um, and we can talk about those together when we're in class, but um, there's at least a little line drawing of everything you're going to be viewing. Now, let's talk about the lab report for this exercise. There will not be a discussion or conclusions, and this is a turn-in lab, but rather on page 63, you've got 10 terms you need to uh, define, give me nice, complete definitions. That portion of the exercise needs to be typed. And then the next few pages have circles for you to make your drawings. Now remember, use colored pencils, detail as much, um, excuse me, uh, label as much detail as you can. And by all means, if you have a camera, take some photos of the specimens that, uh, as well. Okay, I think that'll do it. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in class. Thanks for watching.